I'm at the 2020 Grand National. I got a good friend of mine, okay? So we're doing five questions. First, who are you? Uh, my name is Mike Owen. Okay, where are you from? Uh, right now we're from Arkansas. But you got to do the Hawaii connection. Where are you actually from? Well, really, home, home is Hawaii. Oh. Yeah, I grew up there, and that's where my, all my family lives there. So you so. Hawaii people, you have a chance to be a, a legend like him, right? <laughs> I don't know about the legend, <laughs> but thank you. Okay, so uh, who are you? Where are you from? What's your breed? Okay. Uh, Mike Owen from Hawaii. Um, breed. What's your my, breed? My favorite breed is right now is Bacaro Trumpeter, Racing Homers. English trumpeters. Oh, okay, okay. And then what's your favorite pigeon moment? Oh, I'd have to say when I was a kid growing up in Hawaii. Okay. Yeah, having uh, my dad taking uh, racing birds out in the submarines out in the, uh, the Pacific there and 100 miles out letting my birds race home. It was really a joy to finally see my birds come home. Wow, that's... <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And then what do you want to say to the new guys? I uh, just want to say the, thank you for uh, inviting us over here to your uh, country and uh, looking forward to meeting you and making new friends and in, uh, uh, in our brotherhood of uh, loving the birds. Thank you for uh, all that you guys have done and uh, I'm just really impressed with you guys the way you guys have uh, brought the breed forward and we're looking forward to seeing uh, a lot of you and hopefully uh, you'll get a chance to come over to uh, the United States and uh, visit with us. Okay, this game, we're actually talking to the people of India, right? Yeah. Well, I'm talking about the, the young kids. Yeah. What, what do you want to tell to the young kids, the new people into the hobby? Uh, you know what? This is one of really the greatest feelings in, in your heart when you find a, a place that has a lot of young people getting into the birds right. because okay. a lot of us are getting to the point that uh, yeah, another 10 or 15 years and we'll be gone and we need you guys to come ahead and uh, charge forward and uh, enjoy the breeds that we have. And we're what we're doing, we're preserving the antique, antiquity of this animals that, uh, that have gone back, way back in our history. And it's just a joy to be here. And I thank you guys again for uh, letting us come by. Okay, so this 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 hobby is not only for the young and the older, but it's an international hobby. So he was actually talking about because we have a whole bunch of people on this Facebook that we you actually went to Dubai or anywhere to judge yet? Uh, no, no, this would be my first time over there. Okay, yes, so, sure. uh, yeah, we're we're for hire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but well, who do we have in the behind? Ah, uh, this is <laughs> this is Magnum. Yeah, this is uh, one of my. Uh, breeders here yeah what tell me about the book uh, Magnum he, he is bloodline coming out of uh, uh, England from uh, uh, Neil Pratt uh, bloodline of his oh, and, Neil. Uh, oh, yes cool. uh, and uh, so he's uh, right now he's a little bit loose in the back hadn't finished his molt and uh, but uh, he's one of my favorite birds because he's just a, a great breeder uh, producing a lot of youngsters from him and I really enjoy the uh, the uh, the blue check and the blacks are really mainly my main colors. So every bird or every breed has a different style of judging. Like performing rollers, you have to watch racing home with the race. Don't, don't the Bocaros, you put it on the ground and let them Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. We, we we try to, uh, you know, uh, they're not a, they're not a breed to really be held in the hand by, uh, you know, for judging by the body in the in, in the hand. Our the way we judge our birds is they're stationed on the ground. Uh, they're uh, the overall uh, structure of the bird. You know, the leg settings, the uh, you know the things that make the bird stand the way we want to to give us closest uh, to the standard that we can get. Oh, okay. So here we are finding the best. Uh, bird that fits the example of that specific breed, right? Yes, yes. Okay. We, we, we do the best we can to uh, breed toward the standard and try to improve the breed, you know, year after year. And it's it's come a long ways. I've been in this for 54 years now, uh, okay. so it's been a it, okay. it's a joy to uh, um, to be here. And I thank you, folks, for inviting me. Okay. So really quick, just so those who don't know about the Bukhara, so what's on the top? What do you call the top? Okay, on the top we have the rows. And that's one of the most important parts is trying to get the rows flat and uh, and full and thick. Uh, okay. The mane and the crest would have to look at another bird because he's not finished okay. so right let's now. Look, but yeah, let, let's look for something. Just you have maybe something else. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, let's find one. But that's his. You always have a favorite, and that's his favorite. So now we're gonna go look for something finished. For those who don't know about molting. Uh, certain breeds take a little longer to finish their molt. Like the Jacobins, they finish their molt maybe more of January, February. 
So they're they're finished and some are not. Yes. So okay. So like these have a lot of we structure. Still like a month or yeah. so before okay. we have our. Uh, okay. So. Uh, but the flat rows is what you're uh, looking at. Okay. And, uh, Suppose you want, we want lots of depth in the body, lots of width in the chest, uh, wings and the, the uh, foot feathers, you want them wide and spread in a round circle. So the foot feathers is called the muffs, right? Muffs. Okay. And, yeah, and, uh, okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And the mane is, can you point out where the yeah, mane is? the mane is? is what we're working on. That's one of the... Uh, the the mane is like right here. Right there. Filling in this yeah. with rows and rows of, uh, of the... Uh, the feathers. And okay. That's, that's okay. been a big challenge for the, probably the last 50 years. For and everybody, they, right? Yeah, for everybody. Okay. Yes. It's, it's uh, great to see the birds that are filling in and uh, okay. young birds that are coming at my loft are um, finally getting there a little bit closer each year and I'm really pleased with what I'm raising. Okay, okay. So you hear a lot from people saying get a good bloodline, right? I mean, it's really yeah, yeah. You, and you, the family—that's the deal. Is uh, you know, breeding birds from all different people. It takes you for years to get anywhere. The basic way to try to uh, step ahead is build your family, uh, build the, the the ingredients for to 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 put on each bird, and you'll have to pick that from different birds. But you want to keep them closely uh, uh, family because uh, that's where you build up the genes pool to where you'll be able to. Uh, achieve you know the uh, uh the, the b best example so you hear a lot from guys um sp asking oh, how much like this morning uh, someone say oh i want to buy a bird and yeah. there's kind of bringing it down the value of the bird is uh, upon the person who wants to pay for it so if a bird person really knows the price of the bird and how hard these people work to get that rose to get that mane to get that muffs you be a surprise many years right yes it does so. it takes years and years you know you'll get one bird that has one of the features that you're working with you'll take that bird work it into the family to as, as and to where you can you know magnify that and all the youngsters once you've achieved one step then you've got you know four more to go so yeah. uh yeah it's a really it's a great challenge it's one of the most challenging breeds that i think there is and yeah. uh, i think yeah. that's the reason i'm in it and have been in it since I was a kid. So again, he took over. Um, to go over, get the best ingredients. What you love, because you're paying for the feed bill. So if you don't like the bakaros, don't get the bakaros. But he loves the bakaros, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yes. by, by the way, we can, we, who's your beautiful wife? Uh, my wife is Sherry Beetle Owen. Uh, she's a, an international artist. Uh, been around the world uh, showing her paintings. She's known mostly a lot for her uh, uh, Western art. Uh, she uh, was Miss Lubbock in uh, 1968, way before a lot of you were born. She's going to hate but, me for saying that. Yeah, I know. It. She's going to be upset. <laughs> okay, but yeah. her, some of her paintings is featured in the museum, right? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yeah the the Bacaras, um, Good Morning Bacaras, uh, the, the, uh, several pictures of the uh, English trumpeters that she's painted, and... Uh, um, her latest is uh, the Holy Spirit, yes. and, uh, and that, we'll, uh, that one's went viral all over the world. And uh, yeah, we really and, appreciate and that. Actually, it was uh, featured in what catalog? Oh, it was on the front uh, cover of the uh, uh, Foys, um, their catalog. Yeah. And uh, this this year, we're uh, being uh, graced with uh, uh, Seagulls is putting an, another one of her paintings of the racing homers on the uh, cover of their. Okay. Thing. So let's swing over here. Okay. Come over. Here. So you got to introduce these two people. You got to introduce these two people. Okay. Who do we uh, have I'd back like here? To this is Bob Nolan, a uh, mentor of mine from, uh, gosh, over 25 years now. Is a companion here. Where is she? There you go. Say yeah. hello. Yeah. This is Kathy Johnson. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She, she's the number one, uh, I'll want to call her number one, the uh, Hungarian house pigeon breed. Oh, uh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. say goodbye to everybody then. Okay. Well, goodbye. Well, thank you guys, and we'll uh, be looking forward to seeing you. Uh, thank okay. you again.